Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor for those of you who have never been here before and today we are talking custom content. I apologize to console players but that's what I feel like talking about today. One of my favorite ways to get custom content is to find fan-made stuff packs that are just these incredible packs of stuff that just just work so well together and that are made with like a specific intention in mind by some of the very talented CC creators in this community. So today I wanted to feature five stuff packs that just bring me a heck of a lot of joy because honestly fan-made stuff packs are are completely free and if you're playing on a PC or Mac you can download them, add them to your game and get a whole bunch of new stuff to decorate your Sims homes with without having to pay, you know, five dollars for a kit or ten dollars for an actual stuff pack. All of these are free, all of the links will be in the description and let's jump into the video. So the first one I want to talk about is the minimalist bedroom pack from Illogical Sims. This came out quite a while ago but this was honestly the very first stuff pack of like custom content that I ever downloaded and like that got me excited about CC so I wanted to add this to this even though it is kind of old and you've probably already seen it but there are probably a lot of you that never heard of this. So this is Minimalist Bedroom. Now all of the stuff in this pack is so fun. For one, you can actually have the bed and the headboard separate, which I think is just so smart. So if you want to change the color of the bed to have this blue swatch but keep that light wood tone, you can definitely do that. Or go all white here and then maybe get an orange headboard. I really like that kind of customization. I also love when CC creators take the bed off completely so you can change the color of the blankets. All those little details allow you to make such beautiful creations in this game and honestly just having that little bit of customization allows for so much more fun in my opinion I just like I want to be able to just change the little things like that's such a, a boy bed that you would see in like a college person's home it just like gives me a vibe except for the blanket on the edge of the bed that's a little bit too fancy for them but anyway <laughs> but then there's a whole bunch of other stuff in this pack as well so you get two beds one for each size there are also two adorable rugs and I remember seeing this one for the first time and getting really excited about it like look at that that's so fun and then this one here that's just a nice size nice colors it all comes in the same kinds of colors so you can actually get everything in that like blue or that orangey color or some neutrals like blacks and whites which is really nice i really enjoy the blue it's probably my favorite there are also a couple pieces here of this kind of leaning wall art which i honestly love and we've gotten a couple of these things from the sims team as well so it's just like it's just so good it's just so good like you just lean those against the wall and they just look so like put together and beautiful and of course, since this is a minimalist bedroom, we also get a ton of like shelving and bedside tables and like little units and stuff that all come and little dressers. You can really just mix and match. And if you use move objects and alt placing, you can kind of like make your own little custom situations there. Like look at how cute that is. And then you can put stuff on top of it, like this little magazine or a lamp. Look at that lamp. That is one cute lamp. <laughs> But you can definitely add a ton of clutter objects, especially some of the clutter objects from this game. Like this just looks so cute. Have that just like hanging out there. Is that Nancy Land Grab? Who knows? <laughs> but that lamp is quite adorable and also comes in all of those same kinds of colors with it changing there. And you can even get the pot for this plant in those same colors as well. But all of this stuff just has those same kinds of vibes that match. You can go full blue or you can go like blue and white. I really like the blue and white because those shelves are a little bit different, but that stuff's super fun. You also end up getting a couple of desks, which are really cute, and they're all in different sizes, which I really appreciate. So you've got one that's gonna take up a little bit less space this way, and then one that's gonna take up less space this way. And it's just really nice to have all those different sizes, as well as a chair that works for all of them, which is really nice. And of course, the chair also comes in all of those same ideas for colors, which is cool. Now, this mirror is exactly what I want. I wish you could see me right now. <laughs> I was like, anytime I zoom in on a mirror in the game, I expect to see my own face. That's a weird thing to say, but it's fine. But this is the kind of mirror I want in the game. We have a couple things that are like kind of there. That jungle adventure mirror is one of my favorites, but if we had something like this, I would be so happy. Like it's just slightly leaning. It's very simple. It comes in just normal colors. You know, you got your black, you got your white, but you also got a blue, you also got an orange. It's just like, yeah, that's absolutely a beautiful piece. Like, come on, that's so gorgeous. And then of course you get a little bit of wall art as well. And they actually have this here, which I think is super fun because it's just the world icons, which I think is like a really cute idea to put in the game. Obviously it's not fully updated for the new icons ever since this pack came out. So you don't have things like cottage living in it, but it is super duper cute. But there are also a couple of lamps, which I really enjoy. Like this is just so simple, so to the point and just makes so much sense. Same with this one, love her. 
But that's the first pack. It is a minimalist bedroom and you can find a link to that one in the description. The next stuff pack I want to talk about is puffer head stuff, which is a like potter head type pack. And I love this one. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you'll love it too. If you're not a fan of Harry Potter, skip to the next one. But honestly, this one brought me a lot of joy a few years ago. I believe this came out in like 2019, but it's one of those things where like some people who are watching this may have just gotten into The Sims or just gotten into custom content and may not know that this exists. So this whole pack is based on a picture that's actually in the base game that actually has a person named Henry Puffer in it. Let me just quickly find that for us. So in the base game of The Sims 4, we have this picture here. Obviously, it comes a little bit smaller, but that's, that's suspiciously Harry Potter-esque. And the name of this image is the Henry Puffer poster. And the description says, Everyone's favorite kid wizard has graduated from books to movies and now to your wall. Cast a spell and bewitch your friends with the mystifying power of Henry Puffer. Harry Potter. And this whole pack takes Henry Puffer to a whole new level, and I just love it. So we're gonna go over it just a little bit to see all the pieces that come in it. So first of all, we get a toddler bed that has just, just adorable. And one thing I love is that you do have these two pieces separately, so you can go ahead and change the color of this to whatever you want. Let's say you wanna go with the white, and then you can add this in there and actually change the color of this entirely separately. Now there are all of these like very, very specific, very Harry Potter type things happening. You know, you got some, and then you have some neutral stuff. One of my favorites is definitely this star one here. I love her, she's so beautiful. But there's also things like flowers. You've got some that are like more of the crests and the different schools, which I just think is really, really funny. All the different houses that you can have, some like nice, just more simple items as well. And then this one that's like a little bit like subtle Henry Puffer. But I think that this is really, really gorgeous. And all of the beds come in the same swatches, which is really fun. So you can have like, if you have a kid and a toddler who share a room, they can actually have some of the same bedding. But there are a couple different swatches like this one here that you don't get for the toddler bed, but that's okay. And this flower one is gorgeous. But once again, you can change the top and the bottom. So if you have things that are kind of the same colors, like that's so cute. That would be such a cute kid's room. In addition to that, we also get a double bed and this comes with two different versions of the mattress and the blankets and everything one that has them kind of like draping over which looks a lot prettier and then this one that doesn't i really like the vibe of this and i wish the sims team had more things that looked like that instead of just ones that are like tucked in really nicely but once again you get all of those gorgeous swatches and you can go ahead like this oh like, this doesn't feel Henry Puffer to me, you know? It doesn't feel very, like, Harry Pottery. But then you get to stuff like that, and you're like, oh, this is definitely, you know, meant to be Harry Potter. But you're like, oh, this is really cute. Like, these can just work in any Sims home. But they all match really well together and are gorgeous. So those three beds make the entire pack worth it for me. But you also get more goodies. So you get this armchair here. And with stuff like this, honestly, you need to make sure you read the descriptions because CC readers put a lot of effort into this kind of stuff. But this has both a blanket and a pillow and is just so pretty and I love her. We also have a chair here that is just really cute that goes well with the desks that you get. Now we do have desks in the game now that look, like this one reminds me a lot of the university desk and it's like, okay, I see you, EA, but they have two desks here, and this is actually functional, so you can put postcards on it, which is really, really cool. There's also this end table here. There's even a whole game that takes over the place of, like, Don't Wake the Llama or whatever, and you can put chairs on it and have your Sims kids play that game, which I think is very cool. In addition to all of that, you also get a ton of gorgeous decor. Now this happened way before we ever got that hanging plant that we have in the game. So this was like something I got so excited about because that's just so cute. A little hanging cage. We can put some postcards that come with this on there. Have those just hang out. Adorable. You also get this little thing with some succulents in it. This as well, which has some little like potionsy bottles with plants in it. That's adorable. And then there's these books here, which are super fun. And they have all different covers, which I think is super cool. And there's just, there's just so many like Henry Puffer, Harry Potter goodies, some My Sims that look exactly like them, a nice snow globe with Henry Puffer inside of it. And this mirror, this mirror, my friends, brings me so much joy. I think all I want in life is just a mirror that leans against a wall in The Sims 4, other than the jungle adventure mirror. We don't have enough of things like that because I love leaning mirrors. 
In addition to all of that, we also get a wand box. Of course, you can't have a Harry Potter themed pack without a wand box. There's even a scarf that you can put on any kind of surface and it'll just sit there and like dangle off the edge, which I think is such a cute little detail. We've also got this table here that's a dresser that's like trunks, which I think is so creative and so clever and a beautiful bookcase that comes in all sorts of fun swatches there. You've also got like a mobile, you can't really see that from far away, but it is like the night bus, which I think is super fun. A recolor of the original science table that just looks a little bit cuter. We've also got candles, there's different little toys to play with, and just there's so much in this that I can't even believe that this is created by a custom content creator. And using lights like this over a bed looks so cute. Like, look at that. Come on adorable. So this is another really great free stuff pack that you can download. The link is in the description and let's jump into the next one. So the next fan made stuff pack I want to talk about is by Harry and Felix and this one is bathroom. It's bathroom but spelled with an F. Quirky. I like it. I enjoy that quite a bit. This has a lot of pieces in it and all of them are so beautiful and it's just about everything that you wish The Sims 4 had for bathrooms. Okay so we're gonna start with like tubs, showers, toilets, all the things that you would expect. This is beautiful. <laughs> it is so gorgeous and it's just got that like fancy bathtub in front of a window and a high-rise apartment vibe in my mind. That's how I would see this and it's just so gorgeous and it's one of those tubs that can like be in the middle of the room and it wouldn't be weird because it's so like bougie looking and I love that. There's also a shower here that's really pretty and one thing I like is that there isn't a wall on the one wall, that sounds really weird when you word it like that, but there's not like, a, all the showers in the game are four walls, so you can like put them in the middle of the room and it's not that weird, but this makes so much more sense because all this stuff is on the wall, which I really enjoy, so that's something, it's a small detail that most people wouldn't think of, but I really enjoy that. They also gave us another like Discover University type shower that doesn't actually have any walls and a sink that I really like. I like the whole pedestal vibe of it and the fact that this kind of looks a lot like the tub, they match really, really well together. And of course, you can't have a bathroom without somewhere to take a poo. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want your sink and your toilet that close together, but this feels super fancy with the two buttons. I really, really enjoy that. And honestly, there's even a hot tub. How fun is that? But that's not where I think that this pack like super shines. I'm like, okay, this is, it has potential, but it's in the accessories for me. Like this mirror here that like has the little accordion thing to make it come out further is such a fun little detail. You also have this gorgeous circular mirror that doesn't just have to be used in bathrooms and honestly is so cute. I would, the fact that it looks like it's like leather. Oh my gosh, that's so sexy. And then you have things like little plants that are just so beautiful. <laughs> like, look at that. Look at that. I can't deal with custom content creators. You have like whole wall of like a whole wall for plants. Imagine you have this and then you have like another one this way and you have just like this little botanical garden corner for your bathtub. That is some rich people stuff. And then you just have like this gorgeous plant over here. Like you just want to take a bath in a forest and that's what you're into. There's also these giant wall mirrors which come in all of the different heights so that you can have them for all the different wall heights, which I love custom content creators because they do stuff like that. You've also got a little thing of like face cloths, some bigger towels that come in some more neutral colors because we have something like that in the game, but they come in a lot of like pastels, which I don't love. This is looking a little bit wild. Let me at least get rid of like those and move the toilet over a little bit maybe. But they also have a little toilet paper that comes in like a bunch of swatches and it's just, it's just beautiful. Compared to what we have in game, it's just so beautiful. There's also this towel, which is super neutral and super usable, honestly. And my favorite item is this, a nice little towel ladder. And the best part is that you can actually clutter it up. It's got clutter slots, so you can use all of these little objects to decorate it. I'm not really sure that that's the safest to have a candle right under your towel, but it's the Sims. Your Sims will not die because of it. And that's all that matters. But you can have something like that where it's like super cluttered up and it's just so fun. And I just love that. But there's all of those types of objects. There's some curtains that go with some giant windows that you might have. And it even comes with like a nice set of chairs that have really beautiful detailing. And just so many beautiful things, as well as this sink too. I missed this one in the original walkthrough, but it's got a nice little circ little curved detail. Honestly, if you want like really modern, really beautiful bathrooms, this may be the pack for you. And I love that it comes with candles. We don't have enough candles in The Sims 4. We don't have enough like simple, tiny candles that are just like one candle on its own. These two are so good. They're so good. This whole pack is so good. Oh, and a bar of soap. 
but you can find a link to that one in the description as well. Let's move on to the next one. The next one we're gonna go over is called Delicious Kitchen, and this is by Little Dika, Dick, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and Deligracy, I don't wanna mispronounce anybody's name, so I feel really bad about that, but I'm pretty sure it's Little Dika. Dika? I don't know. Anyway, but this is a collaboration between them and Deligracy, and it is a gorgeous kitchen pack with all sorts of beautiful kitchen clutter that I'm so excited about. So let's go over some of the items here. Of course, we've got counters that come in so many beautiful, I love, I love getting new counters. So we have this one that's just very neutral colors, and this one that comes in like, like, look at that. Look at that like mint greeny color. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't deal with how beautiful that is. But I really like that they're two separate pieces, and that one is very neutral and very chill, which honestly is very deligracy so I'm not surprised and then one that's like a lot more fun a lot more quirky that comes in like this mint green this yellow this other green color that's so beautiful this like corally color and it's just like just a little different nothing too crazy but it just comes in some more interesting colors and I just love that and then you also have these upper cabinets that come in all the same colors as well which are really pretty and of course with upper cabinets you do get all of the different pieces so you've got something like this you've got a little end piece piece, little corner pieces, you know, all the things you'd expect and they're just, they just work really well together. They're very simple and they're going to get the job done. I think I want to make it all this color here. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's just, it's so pretty. But you also get these stools, which I love, as well as a sink that just like looks like a sink you would see in real life. Like this sink just seems like something that you would have at home and not like a lot of the sinks in the game are just one single sink. We don't have a lot that are two and a lot of them just don't feel very realistic. But we also get the little things like a tiny little plant, a glass backsplash, which I think is super duper fun, or one that's like a mirror, which I think is such a cool concept in the game. Like if you had this just hanging out behind your Sims, like that's so cool. And then you can go ahead and up top, maybe we'll just do some like white cabinets. And like you just have cabinets like that. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. <laughs> so in addition to that stuff, we also get a giant giant refrigerator which is nothing like we have in the game and I think that's super fun I really really like that we also get the oven that's separate from the whole stove situation so you can actually just like place this into any of your counters just like what we got with dream home decorator I think and then we also have the top piece that can go on top but you can put that on top of your counters as well so those are really fun you also get things like a dishwasher a little garbage bin a nice little tea kettle that's something we don't have in The Sims 4. Why don't we have a tea kettle? Some lights that are super cute and all the different wall heights. This is absolutely beautiful, honestly. Little things like this, like olive oil, that's something you would put beside. This paper towel is something I want in the game so badly. A little jar, a toaster. As someone who uses a toaster every single day, that is something I very much appreciate. We got some little eggs. We got some tea towels in a pile a cutting board, like all of these little items are things that you don't realize that you want in the game and then you see them in a custom content pack and your brain can't even handle it. There's even another fruit bowl, which I'm just like, yes please, and a little dish rack that's way cuter than most of the ones we have in game and just makes so much more sense to me. But all of these objects are so gorgeous and you can find a link to this stuff pack in the description as well. Our last pack in this video is Peacemaker's Vera office set. This is honestly so fun. I find that we don't have enough like modern more like feminine, I would say, office stuff. And I just think that these really work for that. It's a pretty small one compared to some of the other kits, but it honestly just gets the job done in every way you would possibly want it to. And we're gonna start here with this gorgeous shelf that comes in so many fun colors. Like that's what really gets me about custom content is that you can get it in all of these just beautiful colors that you would expect the Sims team to give us stuff. But like, look at all of those options. And like, look at that, that's so fun. So what you get is two different desks. You have this one here that's wood and this one that's glass. Both of these coming in a ton of fun colors. This one actually changes from like a woody wood to different colors if you want it to, which I think is super fun if you want to have like more unique styles. And this one of course stays glass on top and then the bottom of the legs change, which is really fun. You get this gorgeous swivel chair that works with both of these desks and comes in all of those same fun colors that you've come to expect at this point. And honestly, like just, Oh, that's so beautiful. There's also this accent chair that you can just like have hanging out in the corner there That's gonna come in all of those same fun colors and you could just have like the most colorful office space ever There's also this really cool light and I'm not really sure like 
it like sort of reminds me of the Pixar light, but like quirkier and in fun colors. And I really enjoy that. There's also this easel, which I, I never thought that I wanted more easels in the game because we do have a few of them, but there's something about the shape and the size of this one that I just think is really gorgeous and I would use all the time. And I think that that's super cute. You also get this console table, which has, of course, all the same fun colors. How many times can I say that? But like this little pink swatch is so cute and in an office that would be so much storage and just be so useful and I would love that. And then finally, you actually get like a nice desktop computer that looks modern, like it's from 2020 and not from 2014. It's very thin, has just like the little keyboard, a little mouse. It feels much more like iMac than bulky desktop. And then you also get this here. And you can actually get pink versions, which my little heart loves. I love the color pink. It's one of my favorites. But I just think that this is such a cute pack. And if you go into like clutter objects and start cluttering up this shelf, it's just like, you can just make it the most beautiful thing ever. Like, oh, we have a stack of paper there. Oh, here's some boxes. And there's so many different spots for you to put all of your different clutter objects that it just ends up being so fun. And I just wish we had more clutter slots in all of our objects in the game. But of course the link to this will be in the description as well. But there you have it guys, those are five fan-made stuff packs that I think you should check out for The Sims 4. All of the links will be in the description and you should definitely go support all of the creators because they make incredible things. And honestly, sometimes I think that EA could never, but they are making more beautiful things as of late. But if you just look at the base game, it's like, what are you even doing? Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.